Hello everyone, I Chef Santosh Malkoti, Assistant Professor at Chitkara School of Hospitality, Punjab Campus, welcome you all in this session. In the previous session, we have discussed about the brines and cures. And in today's session, we are going to learn about marinades, which is again an essential aspect for the preparation of Shakutri products. By the end of the session, you should be able to define what is marinade, identify the various kinds of marinades, and differentiate between brines, cures, and marinade. So let's start. A marinade is a seasoned liquid with various aromatics in which meat, poultry, game, and even vegetables are steeped. In other words, we can say that marinades are a mixture of oil, seasoning, and often acidic ingredients like vinegar, wine, or citrus juices. And this mixture is used to enhance the flavor of foods. The process of soaking food in marinade is called as marinating. The word is ultimately derived from the Latin word marinus, which means marine, referred to the seawater or brine that was used for preserving foods in ancient times. Nowadays, Foods are usually marinated to improve their flavor rather than to preserve them. In Mediterranean countries, it is traditional to marinate vegetables and fish, for example, sardine, tuna, bell peppers, onions, and mushrooms. And in Sweden, goose is salted and marinated. Other foods marinated in Scandinavia include pickle, tongue, ham, and mackerel in white wine. And in India, many ingredients are marinated to spice and spiced curd mixture. And in Peru, raw fish is marinated in lemon juice. So by this, we can understand that the process of marinating food is quite common throughout the world. Functions of marinade. The principal purpose of using marinade is to flavor food. But at the same time, it also helps to make the meat tenderize by softening the fibers and adding moisture to the meat. It is one of the oldest culinary procedure and the ingredients of marinades like wine, vinegar, salt, salted water, herbs and spices not only counteract the strong taste of game animal, but also increases the length of the time the meat can be preserved. Elements of marinade. A good marinade should have four key elements. The first is seasoning. The seasoning should come from a good salt component balanced out with a little bit of sweetness. Primarily salt, sea salt, black salt, garlic salt, rock salt and grain salt. They are used for this purpose. And the second is an acid. This helps break down the protein and make your meat really tender. A whole range of acid products can be used into marinade. Citrus fruit, vinegars, lemon juice, yogurt, red and white wines are generally used. The third element are herbs and aromatics such as garlic, onion and even chilies. And the fourth element is a fat to bring it all together. It could be olive, peanut, salad or refined oil. Flavored oil such as garlic oil, chili oil and herb oil can be used. The oil in marinade helps to prevent the moisture loss. Marinades can be broadly cl classified into three categories. First is cooked marinade, second is uncooked marinade and third is quick marinades. Cooked marinades. The cooked marinades are those marinades in which all the ingredients of the marinade are simmered so as the flavors from all the ingredients are infused in the marinade. In a cooked marinade, the basic ingredients which are used are like aromatic vegetables like carrot, shallots and onions, seasoning like salt and pepper, flavorings like bouquet garni, parsley and acid like vinegar and wine. Cooked marinade is generally used for meat and game. A cooked marinade must be cooled down before use. Uncooked marinade 
an uncooked marinade is a mixture of aromatic vegetables like carrot, shallot, onion, flavorings like garlic, parsley, bouquet garni, acid like wines and vinegars, and seasonings. And it is commonly used for meat and games. An uncooked marinade can be used immediately as they require no cooking. Instant Marinade An instant marinade is a combination of lemon juice, oil, herbs and seasonings. In certain preparation like pate, terrine and galantine, you may find usage of brandy and port wine also as an instant marinade. An instant marinade is generally used for fish and seafood preparations. The purpose of using an instant marinade is to impart flavor to the dish. Apart from the basic categories of marinades, there are certain other marinades which are generally used and they are categorized as miscellaneous marinades. And the first one is acidic marinade. Wine, vinegar, tomato juice and citrus juice are all considered acidic marinades. The acid in these liquids work to loosen the protein bond in the meat, making the meat more tender so that these juices can be absorbed. The second is dairy marinade. Although you may find this type of marinade unappealing, but many chefs and grill experts believe this is the only proper way to go about marinating the meat. The calcium in the dairy works to age the meat by activating its enzymes, making the meat more tender. You can also use butter or yogurt for this purpose. The third one is enzyme marinade. Using kiwi, papaya, pineapple and other fruits that contain papain or bromelain are perfect marinades. These proteins break down the meat to make it more tender. Keep in mind that using this type of marinade may make your meat dry and tough if left to marinate too long. The fourth one is dry marinades. They are also called as dry rubs or barbecue spice rubs. Dry marinades uses dry herb and a variety of spices. The main ingredient in a dry marinade is salt. The salt in a dry rub works to break down the proteins of the meat so that other flavors can be absorbed. To dry rub a piece of meat, it's important to first coat it with lard, oil or water so that the rub can be pressed into the surface. And the fifth one is wet marinade. Wet marinades are paste which includes Jamaican seasoning and tomato based rubs. The goal is to completely coat the meat with a mixture of spices and herbs so that it can create a thin layer of flavor before cooking. The length of time for marinating will depend upon several factors. First, the type of meat. Beef will take longer time than chicken to marinate. Also, the cut of meat is important. Tenderloin will need little marinating time compared to the rump. Second, the size of the item. A leg of pork will definitely take longer time than the leg of chicken. Third, the temperature. Foods marinate best at room temperature. However, at times refrigeration will be required in case the food is marinated for longer time. In any case, fish has to be marinated at refrigerated temperature only. To marinate the food items, non-corrosive containers made up of glass and stainless steel should be preferred and containers made up of plastic and aluminium should be avoided. The marinated food item has to be always kept in refrigerator with a cover. In general, the food that is being marinated has to be turned in regular intervals for even flavorings and the food should be removed from its marinade just before cooking and it has to be drained well. In the case of fried or roasted items, the marinade may be later used for deglazing or to make accompanying sauces. Marinades are a great way to infuse flavor but be careful not to let it marinate too long or they will start to cook the meat from the acid, especially in case of seafood. 
In this slide, we are going to discuss about the difference between marinades, brine, and cures. As we know that marinades are mixtures of oil, seasonings, and often acidic ingredients like vinegar, wine, or citrus juice. The main purpose of a marinade is to add flavor. It also can help you to tenderize the meat by breaking down the proteins. Add the marinade to the meat, cover and refrigerate. The flavors will infuse the meat as it marinates. Perfectly marinated pieces of meat requires no sauces at the end. Next is brining. Brine is a solution made by simmering water with salt, curing mix, flavorings and sweeteners. Once the solution becomes cold, meat can be submerged in it. Brining is perfect for those meats that tend to dry out in the oven, like turkey. The end result of brine process is always a super juicy product. And the final technique is curing. Cure is basically a mixture of salt, curing mix and flavorings. And this dry mix is rubbed all over the meat and let it sit. The purpose of curing meat was to preserve it back when refrigeration wasn't accessible. It is not only a good way to preserve meat, but it's also a good technique for cooking. When you rub it on a piece of salmon, you can eat the fish right after it's cured. Brining and curing offer very similar results. By this, we come to an end of the session. And in the upcoming session, we will uh, learn about some of the most important or popular breakfast uh, shakutri products like ham and bacon. Thanks for watching. Stay safe.